Hello, this is Pastor Cliff. I just wanted to share a few simple thoughts and there's so much you can cover in this chapter in John chapter 15 about abiding in the vine. I'm just going to read verses 1 to 5 and then I'm going to make some comments. Abide in the vine, 1 to 5. I am the true vine, my father is the husbandman. Every branch of me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that he beareth fruit, he purges, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you except, except ye abide in the vine. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Now what it is to be abiding in the vine, for someone that might understand, it means that when we give our life to the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask Jesus into our heart, God comes into us and we, we then start to abide in the Lord. We become part of Jesus. Jesus comes into us by his spirit and he becomes part of us. And we start to walk our Christian life from our relationship and our position from the Lord. So as it were, he pulls out one thing, pull, pulls us into another. We've come out of, as it were, the world, not knowing God, and into a position where we know God, and we come out of one place to another place, and God's inside of us. And that's what it means about abiding in the vine, about being in God. And um, the, the, the wonderful thing is this, because we're connected to God, and because he's coming to us by his spirit, we're abiding in him, and we're strong in him, and we know we're in him. And that's where the key comes to walking a, a life of bearing fruit. And it says very clear, and this is a verse I've been meditating on now for something like about six months. And the verse is very real to me. And it's in John chapter 15 here and verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. And the key is that we abide in God. And because we abide in God, because he's inside us by his spirit, and because we yield to his Holy Spirit to flow through us in our lives, and we say, Lord, I thank you we overcome because you've made me a conqueror. You helped me overcome. You're in my life. When we realize it's his life flowing through us to help people, and it's not us, but it's his life, then we, it goes on to say in this verse, and it's so clear, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Jesus is the, if you can see, um, it's like a great, great thing, isn't it? Where the grapes grow, the vine comes down there and the branches come off. And the, the branches, then the fruit grows on them on, on branches. And and that's where we are. We, God's that vine in the middle. He's, a, as they were, the source. And comes from that, branches which bear fruit. And when we get in our head that God is the source inside of us to setting people free, helping people, healing people, giving words to people, it's God that's doing it. And it's not you. You're doing it, and, and you're doing it hand in hand with the master because you're part of that vine. You're not disconnected from that. That branch comes out from that vine. And as it says in this verse, it says... <laughs> I am the vine, ye are the branches. You not, might not be, you are part of that branch, <clears throat> and you, or that vine, you are the branch that bears fruit. And he that abideth in me, when we know we abide in him, right, it says in verse 5 here, he the same bringeth forth, and this is, a, this is absolute truth, much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. When we realise that without him we can do nothing, but with him, we can do mighty things. There's greater things shall you do than Jesus did because God's inside of us. You're with me. And that's exciting. To, and the more I meditate upon that, the more really it becomes to me, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that without you, I can do nothing. But in you, because I'm abiding the vine, you're flowing through me. I'm going to bear much fruit. Might not, I'm not going to, there's no chance about it. There's no, am I going to bear fruit? Am I going to bear fruit? This, this by word is true. It says, for you shall bring forth much fruit. But the key is to realize that in our own strengths, we can't do anything. It's God flowing through us. Amen. It's, it's tremendous to know. It's just tremendous to know. And um, it also goes on to say this in, in verse 7. It says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you, that my Father might be glorified in heaven, in verse 8. Because 
the key is when we know we're abiding, when we pray, we're hearing God what we, when we pray, we're hearing what he's saying to us, we're praying as the Holy Spirit would want us to say, we're praying the will of God, and because of that we see things happen, because we're abiding in him, we're hearing his voice, we're praying as he wants, and what we ask for will happen, hallelujah, isn't that great to know? And uh, today I want to encourage you this, because it's been so real to me, meditate on this fact, and the truth is that you abide in God, you're a branch that's growing the source of the life of the Lord Jesus Christ coming through through you. It's going to bear fruit. It's going to see wonderful things happen. It's going to see lives change. But it's all because of him. And remember this. <laughs> the key is at the end of this verse. For without me, you can do nothing. Right? And it talks about branches here drying up. And a lot of the branches that dry up, as I said, are being cut off or not working, is in the verse two is it's because it it's talking about the fact that that you're trying in your own efforts and what you do you dry up because you're trying 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 you just get worn out you dry up and and, and you cut yourself off from that life which is inside the law but when we realize we're abiding in him we can't be cut off him because he's inside of us we don't have to start we realize we can't do it but through him we can do all things. You will see wonderful, mighty things happen through your life. You will bear fruit. So continue to realize that I'm part of the vine. I'm one of them branches. I'm going to bear fruit because I'm connected to the life giver, which is Jesus. But with his help, I can do all things. But without him, I can do nothing. The Lord richly bless you. Hello, this is Pastor Cliff Chapman. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for the time you spent watching my videos. I'm just saying to you today that if you want to get in touch with me with any ideas, anything you would like help with, or if you don't attend a church at the moment, you want more help with Bible study, then please feel free to contact me. I have contact places on my Facebook page, Pastor Cliff Chapman Evangelist Ministries, also at my email address, which is at the end of every video, and my own mobile number. If you cannot use any of them, you can also get through, get contact me through members page on Task Jesus. Do feel free to contact me because I'm here to help. I'm here to help you grow in the Lord. The Lord bless you all richly.